All right, guys, how you doing? It's Thursday, May 7 again. My name's Mark coming to you from St. Pete, Florida. Lightning Lawn Service is the name of my channel. And I thought I'd share something with you today. If you've thought about it, springtime, hey, I wanna make some extra dough. You know what, it's uh, stay at home. I haven't been working. How can I make some extra income? And a uh, lawn care business is a great way to kind of get started, make some extra cash. And that's how I got started. And really, I just want to share with you what I did to get started again with the lawn mowing business. Because one, I was thinking, what kind of tools do I need? What kind of equipment do I need? Do I need a truck? Do I need a trailer? Uh, you know, what kind of marketing do I need? How do I do it? I wasn't sure. So let's get started. Here it is. I do everything right out of my car, right out of my trunk. And uh, I've got all the gear that I need right here. To be honest with you. Number one, yeah, I got a blower. Good to go. Started with a handheld blower. That's what I've been using. Looking to uh, upgrade to a to a backpack blower at some point. That's a great way to start. Handheld blower, gas powered. And then I've got the weed whacker and edger. This is a Ryobi attachment, three in one. And what's nice about this is, one, you can see you can take it apart so it fits in your trunk. Then two, any sort of uh, extra attachments that you need. If you need a weed whacker, if you need an edger, if you need a, some sort of uh, trimmer. Again, they all attach right on the Ryobi. But again, what's great is it fits right in your trunk. That's number two. Obviously, you got your gas cans, which you're gonna need. And then three, you can see it fits perfectly here. Got my mower. I've got the Toro Recycler. This is a 22 inch deck. The handles actually come right off. And what's nice about this mower is it's lightweight. And because it's lightweight, you can put it in your trunk and you can take it out. And it's pretty much a one-man job. Just tighten the screws up, lift it up, and there you go. Again, you got the Toro Recycler 22. There it is. That's all you need to get started. Mower, it's right in the trunk. Blower, again the three-in-one attachment. Weed whacker, string trimmer, edger, uh, and gas can. You're ready to go. All right, so let's dive into it. Let's talk about each one of these pieces a little bit more. All right, guys, let's start with the most important piece that you're gonna need, which obviously is the lawnmower. This one here, I've had for literally 10 years. I got this lawnmower when I bought the house, and this is what I started with my lawn business last year. One, because I already had it, and then two, I figured, you know what? It's gonna fit right inside my uh, trunk of my car. What else do I need? Uh, a little bit about this Toro Recycler. This happens to be at the time 10 years ago. This was, um, I don't know if it was their top of the line, but it wasn't at the bottom of the uh, scale, so to speak. It's 190 cc's, it's self-propelled, again, self-driven. It's got the motor that's up front there. And uh, again, it's got a Briggs and Stratton engine. Uh, let's say it's 6.75 horsepower. So this was, again, my machine that I use daily. Uh, again, to start my lawn business, obviously was using it in my own lawn. And what's key is, is one, self-driven again it's got the power up front here to drive it for you use a little bit less energy because of that and that's a plus and then two again it fit in the back of the trunk again it's low profile some of those other mowers again that are very uh, a little taller they're hard to fit in the trunk but this one was again it's low profile fit perfect and I know they still make again the Toro recycler again uh, I think they don't make it at 190 cc's I think they're like a hundred and maybe 60 cc's self-driven also 
They run about 289. Again, any Lowe's, any Home Depot. You know, if you already got one, great. Go to your local lawn shop. Probably pick one of these up here, used for like a hundred bucks. Or again, if you happen to have one at home, you're ready to get started. But this is the machine you want to start with. Again, something that fits in the back of your trunk. Again, I use the Toro Recycler 22 Briggs and Strat. That's a great way to start. Number two. All right, here we go. Number two piece of equipment you're gonna need is a leaf blower. I happened to pick this up again 10 years ago. They don't make this model anymore. It's Echo ES210. Uh, at the time, this was uh, one of the kind of mid-grade models. It does the uh, leaf blowing, and it also does shred vac as well. So on the advertisement or on the box, it said you could pick up uh, debris and leaves. It had a bag attachment to it uh, to pick up leaves and debris. I actually used that one uh, spring when the leaves were falling. Wouldn't recommend using that at all. And if you see anybody trying to sell you the shred and vac with the leaf blower, forget about it. Don't, don't do it. Don't upgrade for that. Just get a regular leaf blower. Something like this is going to run you probably about 150 bucks if you don't already have one. Or you go to your local, again, lawn shop, you're probably going to use one for maybe 50, 60 bucks. And again, handhelds, gas powered is the way to go. If you see any that are electric, forget about it. Don't get them. You want to get a gas powered. That's the way to go. It gives you lots of power. The only thing you need to do with the leaf blowers, again, make sure that you, you mix the oil and the gas up the right way. And one way to do that is buy the little vials that you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's. Gives you the exact measurements. It's called a 50 and 1. You put in a 1 gallon. Or you can buy the True Fuel, which is what I use. It's got an exact measurement and it's got a, like a carb cleaner. It helps keep this thing running. Uh, I've had this for 10 years. I do minimal service, maybe once a year in the spring on these. But uh, let me show you what that True Fuel looks like next. This is number three. This is what you're going to need. You're going to need a weed whacker. And this happens to be the Ryobi, what they call a three in one. One comes with the weed whack attachment. And that's key. That's number one. You can use that as your string trimmer for the edge or again as the weed whacker. Either way, just got to kind of learn how to do that. Or two, you can get again the attachment for again that stick edger, which is great. So if you want to, again, make nice clean edges on the uh, sidewalk or garage uh, driveway, again, you can get the stick edger. I like to use both. I use the stick edger in the spring. For the rest of the year, I use the string trimmer to again, get that nice edge. But this is what you want to get started with, out of doubt, number one. Get one of these uh, gas-driven, gas-powered Ryobi 2-in-1 just because it gives you lots of options with that attachment. This thing here uh, runs about probably about 150 bucks. Uh, gas powered again. You got to get the uh, mixture just right. It's a mixture of gas and oil. You can buy one of these True Fuel cans. Again, I use this. Pretty simple. Uh, it's already got the mixture together. Again, just pour that right into your weed whacker and the blower, and you're ready to go. Or again, you can buy those little vials. They're called 50 and one. You mix into a one gallon gas tank, a uh, gas can with your gas and then you fuel it up just as you would this. But this is already pre-mixed. It's got a carb cleaner in it too. It's a little more expensive. I think this big can here runs, uh, I think, nine bucks. Um, if you buy one of those little vials there, good for a gallon, 50 and one, I think those run about three bucks on those. So at any rate, that's really all, all you need. Gas can, number one, all right? And if you use the true fuel, that's great too. Number two, you got your lawnmower, make sure it fits in your uh, back of your trunk. All right, that's it. This is all you need. Get your lawn care uh, business started. And number one, get that lawnmower. I highly recommend the Toro Recycler. Fits inside my trunk real great. I'm sure it'll fit inside yours. You won't need a trailer. If you already got one, you already got a uh, pickup truck with a bed, awesome, you're ready to go. Number two again, get a leaf blower, make sure it's gas powered. Uh, handheld is a great way to start obviously. 
If you can get uh, the back flat backpack blower, even better for you. That's a nice upgrade. Uh, they do after a while, if you hit 10 lawns, your arms get tired, without a doubt, it's nice having that strap pack. That's kind of like the, the uh, bonus if you've got a backpack blower. Again, less uh, you know, wear and tear on your body. For you again, this one here, the Weed Whacker, the two in one or three in one, expanded Ryobi, highly recommend. Just because again, you got versatility, you can take that piece off, you can put a stick edge, or you could put, uh, again, a bush trimmer on there. Uh, you can put a limb cutter on there. They, send all, they sell all sorts of attachments for that. Again, gas powered is the way to go. And last but not least, make sure with your blower and with your weed whacker, they're two cycle engines. Make sure you get in that mixture just right 50 in one. I highly recommend again, True Fuel 50 in one. It's already got a pre mix cart cleaner. No mess, no foul. Just uh, fuel it up, you're ready to go. But if you opt not to do that, because it is about nine bucks for that uh, port that's there, uh, you can get the little vials, they're about three bucks. Pour those into, again, your gas can, one gallon, and you're good to go. But uh, that is it, and you're ready to start your lawn business, start making some money. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. That's what I did, that's how I started. And this is what I'm rocking every day. So if you like what you see, Again, subscribe to Lightning Lawn Service. My name's Mark, coming to you from St. Pete, Florida. You guys have a great day.